Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Chloe and I have a gross face. And today I'm going to show you how you too can have a gross face. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna need a container for your liquid latex. I have got a silicon cupcake case because I know that I can peel the liquid latex out of it easily without ruining it. Just make sure you have something that you know you can clean and you know won't get ruined by the latex. Next, you need something to actually apply the latex to your face. Most people use those little disposable sponges, but I'm gonna be using this silicon sponge for the same reason as before. Now you want to start mapping out where you want the mouth. You can draw it with a nude pencil if you want, but I'm just going straight in. I'm just dipping into the latex and patting it on my face, uh, but you want to do this in sections because it does dry quickly. And then just start laying down some thin layers of ripped tissue. And then just continue this all around your new mouth. When you're done, you do want to paint the inside of your new mouth black. Do this now rather than after because it will be easier. And now I'm just going over that with some black eyeshadow to set down the black paint. I then attempted to put some red over the top to make it look a bit distressed, but I couldn't really see it, so I just stopped. I, I can see that you can see it now, but oh well. Now you just want to start layering up your latex and the tissue by doing the same as before. Layering latex in small sections, and then laying down the tissue. You want to keep doing this, letting it dry in between layers until it's the thickness that you would prefer. Now that you're done with the tissue and it's definitely dry, you can start with the cotton wool. Place down some latex, again in small sections, and then place the cotton wool down. Then you want to cover the cotton wool in latex, moulding the hanging bits into sort of strings. If the strings do get a bit too long, then you can just carefully tear them away. And if it doesn't look torn enough, then just start parting it whilst it's still wet. Then just do the exact same thing next to that, placing down some latex. Then putting down some cotton wool. and smothering it in liquid latex, moulding as needed. And just do the same thing all along the top of your new mouth. When you've done the top, you're going to do pretty much the same thing along the bottom. Lay down your latex. Place down your cotton. And cover with more latex. The only difference with the bottom is that once you've made the cotton into string, you do need to squeeze them with the top strings to make them look more like a torn mouth. And then just continue this through the bottom of the mouth. Thank you. 
If the mouth isn't wholly enough for your taste, then just take something small and thin, like a cotton bud, and use it to morph the holes. Or, if you have gaps, then soak a thin piece of cotton in latex and place it in the gap. Then you want to go over the whole thing with more latex, making sure every piece of cotton is covered, otherwise you won't be able to paint it. And then just keep moulding it until you are happy. When it is completely dry, you want to powder it, because dry latex does get quite shiny. And then you want to paint your whole face, including the SFX makeup, with your foundation. I'm just using my Pure Bear It All and Gosh foundation, both in porcelain. If there's foundation in the gaps, which there probably is, then just paint over it the best you can. Using any white face paint you have, pat it over the top of your foundation to make yourself look paler. If your neck is going to be on show, then you probably want to paint whatever you paint on your face also on your neck. and then just blend the white face paint in. And then you want to set all of it with your powder. And then start contouring your face with a black eyeshadow, making sure to dip your brush in the pan very lightly. I did set my eyes with concealer, but I decided to go over it with some purple colour corrector and then I set them with some powder. And then I used a mix of blue and purple eyeshadow all around my eyes just to make them look a bit tired and sunken in. And then using a red eyeshadow, I covered the lid and under the waterline just to create a bit more of a distressed look. Do the same with a black eyeshadow, just keeping it closer to the eye. And then I just used a red lip liner to line my upper and lower waterline just to make my eyes look quite sore and bloody. Use a mixture of red, purple and blue eyeshadow around the perimeter of the mouth for a similar effect as the eyes. Keep only red eyeshadow on the actual torn part of your mouth as this makes it look a bit more like a wound. I then decided to contour my nose with black eyeshadow as it was very white and kind of sticking out. And I'm just using the thick blood that I used in my last video, putting it inside the holes of my new mouth. Using the vampire blood, which I also used last week, I'm squeezing it into the holes with my head slightly tipped back to make it drip. Make sure you have something to cover yourself for this. Then I used a sponge and the blood that dripped from my face, because no need to waste, and I'm just sippling it around my mouth and my face to make it look a bit more gory. I squeeze some more blood because, well, because I wanted some more blood. Just use as much or as little as you like.
To finish, I put on this wig that, as you can see, I haven't really looked after, but now it does make a great Halloween wig. And that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next week. Bye! Mwah.